Welcome to our next briefing on the Israel-Hamas war. My name is Emmanuel Navon and I'm the CEO of Alnet Israel. As of today, 114 Israeli hostages have been released, most of them children, mothers and grandmothers. Hamas violated the terms of the agreement in five different ways, including by denying the Red Cross access to the hostages and murdering three people in a shooting attack in Jerusalem. Hamas continues to perpetrate these atrocities while trying to paint a picture of a humane and friendly terror organization. The world should not be fooled by the staged images of the kidnapped waving goodbye to the captors or shaking their hands. The hostages are being used as tools on the Hollywood stage, forced to be the main actors in a sick horror movie. Hostages are testifying that Hamas branded the children by burning their legs as if they were livestock to be slaughtered. Among the children released, some of them will still only speak in a whisper after being threatened with their lives if they made a sound. A 12-year-old child was forced to watch the gruesome footage of Hamas going on the killing spree. One child was held in an attic by an UNRWA teacher, while another one was held by a doctor. Hostages were beaten with electric cables. Most did not shower the entire time they were held. All have visibly lost weight, as they were hardly given food, and one testified surviving by eating toilet paper. There are still 137 Israeli hostages in Gaza. We view Hamas as responsible for returning them safely and call for the immediate and unconditional release. We will not rest until all the hostages are free and until Hamas is denied the ability to perpetrate another October 7 which is why the IDF renewed its military operation after Hamas violated the ceasefire. And yes, destroying Hamas is possible. Ideologies cannot be eradicated, but regimes that promote those ideologies can be defeated. A united and resolute West, led by the United States, defeated Nazism, Communism, and Islamism. European governments who undermine Western resolve and unity only bring shame on themselves. Israel shall fight and win with or without them.